Hi guys, it's Carissa and I have my Pop Sugar Must Have box for May. It got here yesterday and it was really hard not to open it, but I wanted to save it for when I filmed this video. There are my scissors. Okay, it feels really heavy. Granted, I've only had one of these before, but... Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm nervous. First thing I see on the top is this reusable shopping bag. It says pop sugar on it. It's pink on the sides and it has black handles. It's nice because sometimes the reusable shopping bags are just way too big. So that's a nice size. Oh, and this looks like a hat. Shut up, it's a hat. It says hats unlimited in case you couldn't tell. This hat provides Ultraviolet protection from the sun. This is really cool because last year I vowed I would not spend the summer without hats. To a sale at Kohl's at like the beginning of the year or the end of the year last year, and I bought a bunch of clearance sun hats. And they're a lot like this, but this I like because it's gray. And if you're anything like me and you've had jobs where you constantly had to wear black, or if you're overweight or if you just feel more comfortable wearing black even though you've got cats and the cat hair gets all over it um gray is like the next step from not being not wearing black so gray is a color that i tend to like it looks like it has a tie on the inside i don't know how you're supposed to Cute. I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit to figure out how I want to wear it. The next thing I see is this Way Better Snacks Simply Sweet Potato Tortilla Chips. Let's see here. Ingredients. Stone ground corn, high oleic sunflower and or safflower oil, sweet potato, sprouted quinoa, organic sprouted quinoa, sprouted chia seed, and pure sea salt. So it's all... Sorry, you guys. I'm fighting with the sun here. I've got like a sun beard. Okay, now I'm just sitting where I always sit. I don't know. When I did this before, the sun was... So it says these are all natural, vegan, certified, gluten-free, non-GMO, certified kosher, an excellent source of whole grains, and low sodium. I actually really do like this brand. I've bought chips by them before. I should tell you that I don't really love sweet potato and by that I mean I only want to eat it like the Thanksgiving way where you make it a little bit sweet and mash it like mashed potatoes. They're in there. Okay those are really good. Those are really good. It tastes like they're fried. Oh yeah they're made with oil. That's probably why I like them. They're really really good. If you had told me eat one without telling me what the ingredients are. I don't think I would have even detected the sweet potato. These are good. There's just this card in here that says Charm and Chain. Enjoy $30 off your purchase at charmandchain.com. Enter your unique code at checkout. Expires 12-31-13. For Pop Sugar must have subscribers only. Is this a $30 gift card? I feel like I'm sure you shouldn't have. Oh, I know what this next thing is. This is really cool that this is in here. Um, there is a beauty blender and a bottle of cleanser in here. Check out my chipped nail. Hold it like that. There we go. <laughs> this stuff is really great. I actually do have a bottle of this stuff. Um, it smells a little bit like lavender, I think. Yeah, it's just, it smells like very spa-like. It's very um, relaxing and refreshing smelling. And these, let me tell you about these. This is life-changing right here. These sponges, I think, are normally about $20. And there's a lot of knockoffs on the market. A lot of people say, don't buy the $20 Beauty Blender. Go ahead and get the $5 knockoffs. There's like a Sonia Kashuk one, ones that you can get at Ulta. This right here is, it does not compare. This is way, way, way better than all of those other types of sponges. I've picked up some at Marshall's. I've grabbed a whole bunch of them to compare them. And the other ones 
when you what you do is you moisten them and you kind of squeeze out the excess water and it and it like doubles or triples in size and then what you do um, not wet you want to make sure that it's just damp just slightly damp is you um, kind of fix your makeup mistakes you can apply your makeup with these but what I like to do is after I've put it on I go around areas like around my nose where I have dryness and maybe on my cheeks where I'll have streaking and it'll just completely even everything out it might sound unnecessary to some people but I'll tell you what once I tried it I was like I have to use that every single day it hurts a little to pay 20 bucks for a sponge I know but I'm telling you, you can try the other ones and they're okay, but this is just like magic. I love this. The next thing I see peeking out at me here is Mindy Kaling. Questions I ask when I want to talk about myself. I know Mindy Kaling just had a book um, come out like last year. I haven't read it, but I do really like her. Um, I follow her on Instagram, I know that. but. This is kind of bittersweet because tonight is the finale of The Office, the series finale. And I know the show hasn't been as good as it used to be, and I know she hasn't really been on it, but that's how I and many other people learned about her. And um, it's like the end of an era for me. I don't know why, but I'm really attached to that show. Even though it hasn't been as great, and, you know, I understand, obviously, things end, shows end. I just feel so sad about it. So this is a neat thing to get today. Um, this is 50 topics to share with friends. And it looks like it is a conversational... How would I... Like a, like a conversation topic. I don't think it's a game. I didn't even know this existed. Okay, so you pull it out like this. And there's a bunch of cards in here. So what it looks like is there's a topic and an anecdote and then there's a question for you to answer afterwards that's kind of neat it would be interesting to go through all this i don't know if you should read the book first or if you should know or be familiar with the book first but it looks like there's excerpts from it in here this is a really unique thing i don't think i've ever seen anything like it it's really cute okay well this appears to be why it was so heavy the box let's see what this is feels like liquid Sounds like liquid, I guess I should say. Oh boy. A modern cocktail, like flavoring mixers pack. Five pre-measured margarita mixers with rimming crystals. Watermelon margarita, authentic, blood orange, mango, and strawberry. Okay, so I love margaritas, don't get me wrong. But I kind of can't drink and I'm very, very allergic. I get really, really red in the face and, um, and really don't feel well. It's actually a really bad thing and you really shouldn't drink if that happens to you. So between that and all of the other things that I'm doing with trying to conceive, I have medications that I can't mix with alcohol. I might still use these to make non-alcoholic beverages because it is summertime and that would be super fun. I could also re-gift this, so if you're seeing this, you're welcome. Moving on. The last thing in the box is this, Ooh, I've never ever had anything from this line before. People really like it. And they have it at my grocery store, but I never have actually purchased any of it. This is a Pacifica Natural Minerals Color Quench Lip Tint in Sugared Fig. Okay, I'm gonna to need to try and calm down right now because I have been going on somewhat of a lip product spree this month, and I know we're only halfway through the month, but I've purchased something like eight, I would say eight to 12 lip products, and I'm not even sure how many. Um, and I think, what, I think I figured out why, because I kept just compulsively looking at lip products when I went to the store, and that never used to be the case. I used to do that with nail polish. But since I switched to gel polishes, I don't feel that compulsion anymore because before I would constantly have to repaint my nails and I would always feel like I wanted something new every time. And I didn't necessarily have something new every time, but it was just, you know, shopping my own stash wasn't as fun and I just, that was my guilty pleasure for a long time. But now it lately has been lip products 
and purple tinted ones at that. I'm not really sure what the deal with that is. So I'm going to assume that when something says sugared fig, it's on the purple side. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this packaging. It smells like delicious. I can't describe. It's like a berry flavor, but not really. It, well, okay. If it's supposed to be sugared fig scent, then I guess I just think, let's just, let's just forget. Okay, when you actually apply the product, the scent is so much stronger and it's like, oh, it's not good. It smells a lot like, it's, oh, it's really strong. It reminds me of berry scented cough syrup, like a strawberry or cherry cough syrup. Oh, it's a shame because it's actually really, really pretty. If there is a Pacifica product that you really love, um, tell me what it is, because I, I am curious about their products. I just, I don't think. If you want a pop sugar box of your very own, if you sign up now, I think you still have time to get in for the June pop sugar box. Um, this is only the second one I've gotten, and honestly, last month wasn't great. Um, but I thought I'd give them one more chance, and I loved this one. Dare I say, this is the best subscription box I've ever received. Um, I think it is. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon.